Welcome to G tier, where we bring you the god tier in Gen AI, gadgets, gear, games, and emerging tech. Hold on to your keyboards, content creators, because the digital landscape is about to get a whole lot more exciting. Introducing Perplexity Pages, the latest brainchild of the innovative minds at Perplexity, the AI search engine wizards. This isn't just another tool, it's a game changer that's poised to revolutionize your writing process. Ready for a sneak peek? Let's pull back the curtain on this marvel of technology. I'll give you a quick tour of its slick features before we plunge into the nitty gritty. Let's head over to perplexity.ai and check it out. Now, if you're new here, Perplexity is an AI tool that specializes in web search. For example, you can type in, how is Perplexity AI different? And it will give you the answer in real time. This is because it takes a LLM or large language model and gives it the power to search the web. As you'll notice, the response provided will be in a more conversational tone. You'll find small source links that you can directly access with a click. Additionally, it will present you with various images and all the pertinent links will be displayed right here. So it serves as an exceptionally effective search tool. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, what's the big deal? I can go to Google or chat GPT or just ask my mom for the answer. There's a bunch of other ways to search the web. What makes Perplexity so special? Well, you'd be correct in saying that, you sweet summer child, but let me tell you, perplexity is on another level. For example, ChatGPT pulls from five sources, while perplexity pulls from 20. Not only that, but you can choose which LLM model you want to use. You are not limited to just GPT-40 or Claude. You can choose whichever one you want with perplexity, which is great for cross-referencing, fact-checking, and debugging code. Perplexity is just more powerful at this point, and if I had to put my money on just one tool for LLM search, perplexity wins. Not to mention, Google search nowadays is full of corporate conglomerates on their first page of search results. Smaller content creators are getting squeezed out big time, especially with Google's recent core updates. Not only that, but Google also recently expanded their partnership with Reddit, which is why you see Reddit results nowadays for everything from recipes to driving directions. They are basically in bed together, so I just don't trust Google to be honest. Well, I don't trust any for-profit company 100%, but you get my point, I hope. So that's why I like perplexity. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm open to all options and am trying not to be a perplexity shill, but that's where I stand with it as of right now. I'd love to hear what you all think though. Anyway, now that we have a brief introduction to perplexity and LLM search, let's move on to the perplexity pages tutorial. Now, in order to use perplexity pages, you will have to sign up for their paid plan. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's always oh, a catch, but no. keep in mind that they are currently in oh, beta no. with this feature. The latest I heard is that they will be slowly rolling the Perplexity Pages feature out to all accounts. But as it stands right now, as of the time of this recording, it is not available yet to everyone for free, so you do have to upgrade to their pro plan to access it. I am not sponsored or affiliated with Perplexity, but they do have a referral program available to all paid users. It basically works that if you sign up using a referral link, you get 50% or $10 off the subscription price. For each new pro subscriber you refer, both the referrer and the referee receive $10 off the next billing cycle. Basically, you end up paying $10 per month instead of paying $20 per month. So if you're interested in a 50% discount, check out the link in the description below. If not, you can stick to the free plan and be patient for the full rollout. Now, once your account is ready and you're on the home page, simply select the library tab from the left-hand menu and hit the plus icon. Next, click on page, which will navigate you to the perplexity pages area. At this point, all that's required is to enter the topic of your page. Imagine we're focusing on the phases of artificial intelligence. Enter the topic right here and perplexity will do the rest. A dynamic table of contents is crafted on the right, assigning headings and composing each segment for us. We'll delve into some of these editing tools shortly. The process will proceed methodically crafting the list and even selecting a royalty-free image for us at the top. Alternatively, you have the option to create an image using AI, which I'll demonstrate shortly. The creation continues seamlessly with each section materializing before your eyes. Reaching the end, the system empowers you to extend your content by simply inputting a new prompt. It offers various prompt suggestions that you can select with a click, and just like that, a fresh section materializes. 
Another cool feature is that you can choose your target audience. Back on the main generation page, you'll see some options under audience. So the first option would be for anyone to understand. The second is for beginners and the third is for subject matter experts. So if I wanted to write for experts, it's gonna write in a whole different tone than if I was writing for just anybody. Now I'll show you some of these editing options. One option is on the top image here, you're able to drag to reposition it. You also have an option to change the image. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna pull up a bunch of different images here that you could choose. You can also generate images from this page right here. And you're able to choose from a variety of styles, including painting, photograph, illustration, and diagram. So I'll choose this one down here, and it will automatically change our top header image for the page. Now, before we go any further, I wanna point out something to you all. Keep in mind that you can change the image generation model by clicking on the gear next to your profile in the lower left hand corner. As you can see here, there are three different image generation models to choose from. Playground 2.5, Doll E3, and Stable Diffusion XL. So if you're looking to switch up the look of your page, you can come here to change the model type. Going back to our page here, there's also an option at the top to choose your layout. So if I just want a small image instead of that big one, or if I want no image at all, I could go ahead and change it that way. Under edit, you also have the option to rewrite the intro or emphasize sources. And then if I go down a little bit, you'll see that with each section, I could add media. If I just click the add media button here, it automatically finds something that pertains to the surrounding information and will add it. And I could change it again if I wanted, or I could upload my own image. You could also search here for any image you want. Keep Keep in mind that you can also create a custom generated prompt if you want to just click on the wrench button and it will generate a custom prompt all you have to do is indicate a style moving on you'll notice that with each section you have the edit option right here so you could actually change how it looks so if i want just text or in this case let's get a table and let's make it more detailed keep in mind i'm not giving it any prompt i'm just clicking on the options within the page and if you don't like a section under the more tab you could delete a section you can also move a section up or down and again if you want to add a section like this part at the bottom is the part you want to use it has a lot of options here like adding text text and an image or just an image there's some more options over here including adding a paragraph table or list and finally on the far right side here there's an option to make it concise or detailed you could also go in between sections here and insert a section just click on the button and you have the same options as before text media and text media only paragraph table list concise and detailed you can then give it your own prompt or choose one of the suggested ones and it will fill in between the two sections now let's say i'm done with this i can go ahead and publish it so up in the top right you could press publish and it's going to create a link that's already copied or you could copy the link from here and if I open it in a new window, in an incognito window, you'll see what it looks like. It's going to show you when it was last published. It's going to show you how many views it has. It's going to put your account's name right here. One of the cool features about this is that anybody could ask it a follow-up question right down here. So they can continue off of what you already wrote and could start their own thread on the matter. Another thing that's really useful is you could select a portion and get more detailed information on it. All you have to do is highlight it and click on ask follow up and perplexity will do the rest. And as you can see here, it's complete with its own sources, images, videos, and follow up section at the bottom. And if you like, you can also take this newly created follow-up section and convert it to its own page. And there you have it, folks. A quick tutorial running through perplexity pages and all that it has to offer. So what do you all think? Do you think this will change the way news organizations, journalists, bloggers, media networks, writers, influencers, and YouTubers create content? Do you think perplexity is a serious competitor for Google search? Where do you think this is all headed? 
I would love to hear your thoughts on the matter. When I first heard about this, I thought, whoa, this is going to make writing so much easier. What used to take days of research can now take minutes or even seconds. It's crazy. The internet is probably going to be inundated with even more AI generated content now. I really think authenticity will continue to be of the utmost importance moving forward. My guess is that people will likely enjoy the convenience of these AI content generators and search engines, but will crave a more personal tough with human experience at the forefront. I mean, look at me. You don't even know if I'm a real person for Pete's sakes. I could just be part of the AI takeover, hiding behind an AI generated voice primed for our AI overlords to reign supreme. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for tuning in, everyone. It's been awesome. If you liked what you saw and heard, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment. It really helps out. See you next time.